What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're going to be checking out these Bulldog Winch vehicle ratchet straps. They're going to be used to tie down your vehicle onto a trailer like you see here every day. This is my vehicle, I got it pulled up here. We tied it down with four straps, so two on the front, two on the back. It was really easy to get it set up and strapped down nice and tight. My vehicle's not going anywhere. Let's check them out. Take a closer look at it. Just wanted to use the mechanism to kind of show you what's going on. I really like the ratchet strap, the mechanism itself. It has plenty of room for your hands, you know, so when you need to break that tension, you have to reach in and push back on this. Hold this back all the way, and it'll release that tension. I like that there's plenty of room to put your hand in here on this handle to do things like that, or even, you know, on this one, you're gonna be ratcheting it back down, but sometimes this portion's not very big. You can only get a couple fingers in there, and you're really torquing it down, especially if you got a vehicle on here. You wanna make sure that thing's nice and tight so you can get your whole hand in there get a really good pull on that and get it tightened down really tight. So I like that it gives you the room to do that. The mechanism also really easy to use, like you saw me do, I just pulled up with my thumb to release the tension. It doesn't have a huge snapback. You know, sometimes they are kind of aggressive. This one doesn't have that. So you don't have to worry about causing injuries or anything like that. The hooks, the snap hooks here on the end, really easy to use. Just kind of snap into place. I like that you don't have to actually push that or anything. You can just kind of push it on real quick for that setup. I like that it's already pre-twisted here too, so you don't have to worry about the hooks this way and the straps this way. It's not gonna get all tangled up or twisted on you. It's just gonna stay like this. And plus, you have a direct connection with a snap hook to the ratchet itself, so there's no strap in here. So it's already gonna be right here all the time. The mechanism will be easy to reach from the outside of the trailer. I don't have to crawl underneath my vehicle to ratchet this down or loosen it. A few accessories I wanted to point out that helped us get our vehicle tied down today. We got the axle straps here up at the front. We use that to wrap around the arms here because there's not really an attachment point on my vehicle to strap it down to to get it nice and tight and we didn't want to damage anything underneath there so we just got that wrapped around and you can see how the snap hook goes into the two hooks on the or the D-rings I'm sorry on the axle strap Plus that's padded so it's gonna protect anything that it's wrapped around underneath your vehicle. So with that attached there, you can come down to here to the cinch strap. That's gonna help you tie up that extra strap here, keep it nice and neat. Sure, you can just tie it in a knot here to itself, but this actually get it way tighter. You can see how it kind of bulges up, but I can pull that even tighter and it keeps things just kind of sleek and out of the way. And then finally we have our D-ring stake pocket here. It goes in the side of our flatbed trailer because it's a nice tie down point to put our snap hook on. It's on there nice and tight, and you can see how it's all worked together very nicely. You know, those things we showed you aren't things you necessarily absolutely have to have to use these, but they definitely make it way easier in combination with your ratchet straps. Just giving you a tie-down point here on the side, clean up all this extra strap, and having a reliable tie-down point underneath your vehicle without damaging anything under their vehicle. I think they're just good to pick up, and they're gonna all work together to help you out. As far as the construction go, all the metal parts have a zinc coating on them, so they have more protection against corrosion and rust. The elements aren't gonna bother as much when you're using this on the flatbed trailer as it's exposed. The straps may have a polyester webbing with a gel coating on there, again, just to help the elements not bother the strap at all so it doesn't start fraying on you or easily tearing. You see, it's pretty, pretty tight. It's like a seat belt kind of material is what I can compare it to but it feels really strong. It doesn't feel like it's gonna give on me at any point. The straps themselves is gonna be eight foot long. It's gonna be two inches wide. It's also gonna have a safe working load limit of 3,335 pounds. And then it's gonna have a brake strength of 10,000 pounds. So just keep that in mind. And of course, you're not gonna be just using one on a vehicle. So you can combine those safe working load limits. So we have two on the front, two in the back. We combine all those together to get your actual safe working load limit. If you want more of a starting kit, you can get the Bulldog Winch kit. It's gonna come with four of those ratchet straps. It's gonna come with four of the cinch straps as well. So just kind of, if you're looking at that stuff anyway, you liked my suggestions on how that's gonna help you, you can buy it all together. Plus it comes in this bag. It's a heavy duty bag with a hard bottom on it too that has plenty of room for those straps, the cinch straps, and even more you can add in there. So I think I kind of like this buying it as a kit all together. If you need all that stuff anyway, it's gonna come here and it's all gonna fit in this bag, plus with room to spare if you get other accessories like the axle straps and stuff, those will go in there too and it'll keep it all together for you. 
overall, I really like these ratchet straps. They're really easy to use. The snap hooks made it easy to hook onto those D-ring in the stake pockets and underneath the vehicle. They were flat enough to fit in those areas that might not be able to fit to wrap that around or attach it to things. Ratcheting mechanism worked really well, easy again. I liked once I said that the mechanisms are gonna be on the outside of the trailer, so I'd never had to crawl underneath the vehicle again after initially hooking it up, of course, but to tighten it down or loosen it, I didn't have to get under there. It was really easy to do either one, and then I could get on the road way quicker. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped.